So we back with another video. Today we're going to be ranking the NFL teams again. Now, we already ranked the NFL teams. We ranked the quarterbacks. We ranked the wide receivers. We ranked the running backs. Today, we're going to be ranking the NFL offensive units when it comes to them as an offense. We're going to do another one when it comes to just the defense, the entire defense. So if you guys do want these videos, make sure to drop a like to show the support. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below any other ideas for some other videos. Let's hop into it. All right, so let's hop into it. We got the best, elite, good, mid, bad. So that's pretty self-explanatory. Don't really need to even talk too much about it. It's only going to be one team at the best. We got the elite defenses. Then we got the good. We got the mid. And we're going to have the bad. Let's hop into it. Cincinnati Bengals. I think Cincinnati Bengals have an underrated defense every single year. I wouldn't say it's mid. I would really more so say it's good. Um, I think it could be mid this year because they did lose Jace, Jesse Bates. But I do think it is more likely that it's going to be more so good, but maybe back in a good or high tier mid. It's one or the other. Um, the Patriots. Now, as a Patriots fan, I don't really want us to do that good this year, but I want them to do good because I'm a Patriots fan. But the be honest, I'm kind of hopeful that we can get a high pick so we can actually get one of the top quarterbacks. Uh, somebody coming in on my video on the NFL teams, bro said, you got to be a Dolphins fan. I even said in the video I was a Patriots fan. But, yeah, uh, Patriots, defense-wise, um, as a defense, I think we're going to be pretty good. Bill Belichick, one of the best defensive minds all time. Um, we got one. We got the best. No. Okay. Well, either one or two, whatever you want to say. I'm a Patriots fan, so I'm going to obviously say it's the best rookie cornerback coming into the league this year. Now, the thing with Jack Jones, that's kind of wild. That kind of trolled me a little bit. But we still have um, other Jones. We still got the Marcus Jones. Um, I think our safeties, we pretty stacked that safety. I think Juwan Bentley going to come back. We even got some pretty good depth at the D-line. I think at all phases of the game for our defense is really, really well built. And with Bill Belichick man in the fold, I think at bare minimum we'll have a good defense. It's really just on the offense to really show up. I don't know why that's cut off, but, yeah, that's the Patriots. Um, the Saints. Now, for the Saints, Saints are going to have a good defense, too. I think the Saints are going to have a good defense, too. Um, they're going to – like, it's, I don't know if they're going to have as much responsibility as last year because their de offense was so bad. But, yeah, I'm going to have to say the Saints is good, but I'm going to have to throw them above the Bengals. I think they have a – I think they actually going to have a better defense. Now, they did lose Davenport, but – I think as a whole, I think as a defense, they're going to be better. If not, just as good as last year. And I think it was a good defense last year. Steelers. Now, Steelers is tough because I feel like they added some small, little, minute details. But at the end of the day, it's still going to predicate on this T.J. Watt is healthy. If T.J. Watt is healthy, they are elite. No, like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They got Cameron Hayward. They got all this type of stuff going on, Minka Fitzpatrick. But it's, if if T.J. Watt is not healthy, I would have to say they like right, they like right here. I don't really even with like them the pickups that they try to do with their secondary. I don't know if I trust their secondary per se because they their defense really kind of predicated on their D line and pass rush. But if T.J. Watt is healthy, I'm gonna have to say they're elite. San Francisco 49ers, that's elite. Not really much to say there. They have Nick Bosa. Um, and as a top to bottom, they have one of the best duo linebacking cores in the league. Um, they have one of the best defensive schemes in the league with the cover six that they do. Uh, I think Mufunka is going to have a really big year this year. Um, I think I think the 49ers are going to have a really good defense. Yeah, I'm ranking. I'm ranking. Yeah, this is defense. I was supposed to be ranking offense, but this is defense. We're just going to call it. We're just going to call it the defense. But yeah. He's finally done with his shitty ox. I'm sorry if you're really that mad. I don't really know what to tell you. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to say for the 49ers. I was supposed to be ranking offense, but we doing defense. We're just going to continue doing defense. Okay, Arizona Cardinals. Uh, I'm trying to think of Arizona Cardinals. Buda Baker. Um, I think they actually lost that young corner that they used to have. I don't think he's on the team anymore. I think he went somewhere else. I can't think of off the top of my head. I'm going to put the Cardinals at either mid or bad. I think they're going to either be high tier bad or low tier mid. I'm going to put them mid for now. Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons, 
I got some hate on my video for saying the Falcons are going to be trash. When the other categories was like playoff hopeful, playoff, Super Bowl contenders, and Super Bowl, and then best. So I'm not really understanding where the Falcons would have fit in any of those other tiers besides trash. But I'm going to have to say, honestly, I'm going to have to say the Falcons are going to be bad. Now, I kind of want to put a mid because I do like the moves that they made. I like Grady Jarrett. I think Jesse Bates is going to be a good addition. I like, um, what's that corner name that they have that's really, really good? AJ Terrell, I like him. I think that the changes, that they, the moves that they made in this offseason, the additions, I do like them. But to be completely honest, I think that that team is kind of trying to have a youth movement on offense, and they kind of trying to have a, a better offense than defense. And every single year, it feels like the Falcons have a pretty bad defense. So if I'm basing it off that, I think that they're going to be more so bad. But I'm going to put them mid. I feel like, honestly, they may have a better defense. than I'm going to put the Falcons down here at bad. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. I think they may have a better defense than the Falcons. The Baltimore Ravens. All right, Baltimore Ravens, they did lose Marcus Peters. But as a whole... Uh, I think they, they, they also wanted a safeties too. They do have Marcus Williams. Um, I do like Cal Ham Hamilton a lot. I like Cal Hamilton a lot. I, I want to put him mid, but to be real with you, the Baltimore Ravens having a bad offense just doesn't really make sense to me. I'm going to put the Baltimore Ravens right here. I'm going to put them right here. I just I feel like I just trust Harbaugh. I trust that defense to be good year in, year out. I'm going to put them right there. I'm going to put them right there with the Saints. The Buffalo Bills. The Buffalo Bills. I think the Buffalo Bills could have an elite defense, but I'm going to let that be the far few in between, and I'm going to put the Bills at the top of good. I think the Bills could have a on the brink of an elite. I love their secondary. Michael, um, Micah Hyde, um, Porter, Trey Davis White, and they had that Ricky from last year that's coming back this year. Um they did lose Jermaine Edmonds, but I do like Milano. I like him a lot. I think their D-line could be even better this year. I like the Bills. I like the Bills a lot. I think they could even be, what's it called? Yeah, I did. I said the Falcons got Jesse Bates. Um, the Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if y'all going to have a rough year or y'all going to actually have a pretty decent year because I like the quarterback, but like I feel like the Panthers year in, year out should be pretty good defensively. They have Derrick Brown. Um, I forgot the, the pass rusher name, but they have one of the best pass rushers in the league coming off the edge. Brian Burns. Um, I like that safety. I forgot his name. Ch Jeremy Chen. Jeremy Chen. I like him, but people kind of been down on him after last year for some reason. I love their cornerbacks. I love their cornerback. I love Jace Horn. I love their cornerbacks. I think the Panthers. I think the Panthers. To be honest, the Panthers got a defensive coach too, didn't it? I think the Panthers could be a sneaky elite defense this year. I think the Panthers could be a sneaky elite defense. Loki, I got to drop the Steelers down. I think the Panthers could, Loki, have a sneaky elite defense this year. I like the Panthers, what they're trying to do over there on defense. They got a lot of really, really talented young guys over there. And if that coach can really come in there and really whoop, I think the Panthers could be really sneaky like next year, bro. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the Bears. The Bears, I think they're going to have a bad defense. Just to say, I'm going to just say they're going to, I think they're going to have a bad defense. I'm going to actually put the Cardinals under them. I think the Bears are going to have a bad defense. Um, the Browns, it's going to be kind of tough, but the Browns, they do have Denzel Ward, but he's always hurt. Um, Miles Garrett. But when it comes to thinking about people at high miles, Garrett Grant Delpit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to say mid off of Miles Garrett, but I think the Falcons actually may have more talent and they might be better. The Cowboys, elite. Not really much to say there, man. They picked up, like, bro, they picked up Stephon Gilmore. They now have a real, true number one corner. Now, you could say Trayvon Diggs was a number one corner last year. I think he was much improved last year, but, like, Steph. Not Stephon Did. Did I say Stephon Did? Stephon Gilmore. But yeah, Stephon Gilmore, man, he's he's really like that. Everywhere he goes, he produces. 
um, ever since he was with the Patriots. And yeah, I think he is getting up there in age. And if he do, if they kind of do like more like a a one A one B with Stephon Gilmore and Trayvon, that may be better for him because he is getting up there in age. But he does he does produce for the past couple of years. He has produced. So yeah, the Broncos. I think the Broncos are easily an elite defense. The only thing that I really feel like holding them back is a pass rush. Like when you think of when you think of the Cowboys, when you think of when you think of the 49ers, they have that pass rush. Now, the thing that the Broncos do have, they had that elite secondary with Kareem Jackson, with um Justin Simmons and Patrick Sertain second. I really do love that secondary. With that being said, I'm not really too trusting on that linebacking core and that D-line. I think they have a solid D-line, but pass rush-wise, I don't really trust it nowhere near as much as the Cowboys or the 49ers. I really think Brian Burns would be by far the best pass rusher if he was on the Broncos because they did get rid of Bradley Chubb. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put them right there in front of the Steelers. I'm gonna have to bump the, I'm gonna have to bump these guys down. I'm gonna have to bump the the Patriots down. Um, actually, I'm gonna have to bump. I'm gonna have to bump all these guys down. I'm gonna have to bump all these guys down. Um, I may even have to put the Patriots right here. No, no, I'm not, I'm tripping on that one. The Lions, I think the Lions are gonna have another bad defense this year. To be honest, they are gonna be kind of just offense dedicated. To be honest with you, so yeah, I don't really know what to say on that one. I think yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. Tennessee Titans is a tough one to rank because they have really good safeties. They have young corners, though. Um, their D-line is pretty good. Like, pass rush, not even that bad. But, like, linebacking core, nothing too crazy. It's pretty mid. It's a pretty mid. I'm not. It's not bad, but it's pretty mid. So, I have to rank all of the uh, core of it. Like, the secondary, like, the, especially the sef- safety is elite. But if we talk about the, s- the secondary as a whole, I would just say it's good. But mainly because of the secondary. But then the linebacking court, I would have to say it's mid. Then the D-line, I would have to say... I would have to say good. I like Simmons, but yeah, besides him, yeah, I'm going to just have to say good. I'm going to put the Titans... I'm going to put the Titans right here. I'm going to put the Titans right there. I may got to go like more like this. Because I feel like the Titans are a good defense. I feel like the Titans are a good defense. I feel like I'm stretching that out too much, though. Okay, the Packers. I like the Packers, to be honest. I like their... Did they lose... I think they did lose Amos. I don't know who they lost them to, but I do like Savage. I like um the corner they have. I like Russell Douglas. I like their D-line. Their pass rush could be a little bit better, but Rashawn Gary was pretty good last year. Um, I don't... Their linebacking core isn't really that... I think you can run the ball in Packers, though, so I will say that. Kenny Clark is pretty nice, though, in the middle. I would have to say... I would have to say the Packers going to be at the top of me. I'm going to have to put... Yeah, i got to put the Patriots down here. I'm going to put it like that. Like that. That's that's more like it. The Texans. Okay, the Texans is weird because last year they had a good defense, in my opinion. I would say they was like a good tier defense, Texans wise. Because you got if you think about the context of the Texans, their defense was on the field at all times. And they was really decent at holding people off in terms of putting up a lot of points on them for how bad their offense was. Their defense was on the field at all times. Now I do think that was more so Lovey Smith, but they did get a replacement that's also really good as a defensive coach. So that's really interesting to me. I don't really understand firing level Lovey Smith if you're gonna get another defensive coach. To me. But I think he's going to be able to do a good job with that team. Um, I don't know if he's going to be able to get as much out of that team, but he may be able to get out more because he's going to try to implement that cover six defense that he had with the 49ers. So I don't know if they really have the personnel for that. Um, I like Petrie. I like um, the other Stingley. I like Stingley. Um, It's just a couple of different things I'm not really too trustworthy on. I'm going to put them at mid right here. I think they're at the bottom of mid. But I think that he could get more out of him because he is a good coach. Um, Colts, the Colts, I would have to say they did lose. I, bro, I thought the Colts secondary was like the biggest hole of their team, and it got even worse because they did lose Gilmore. So I would have to say D-line and linebacking court, that's probably, that's probably 
as elite as it gets or good. It's probably it's not on the level of these two teams, but it's up there. It's like I probably say it's like third in terms of D line combining D line and linebacking core. It's probably third. I'm trying to think who else would even be up there. That's probably that's probably third. That's probably third place. But I'm gonna have to say the Colts. Yeah, I'm going to put them right there. Jaguars. The Jags. I think the Jags are the definition of a mid-defense, to be honest with you. I'm going to put the Jags right here. Because I think they got talent, but, like, it's just not shaped up yet. You know what I'm saying? It's not shaped up yet. Um, I think the Chiefs have a um, – I think the Chiefs had one of their better overall teams last year. So, yeah, I, I don't really know what to say about the Chiefs. The Chiefs is kind of a tough one to rank. Because on paper, it's not that crazy. They even lost some of their better defenders. Like Juan Thornhill, they lost him. So I don't really know what to really expect out of their defense. I'm going to put them mid just to be safe. And I'm going to put them right there with the Jaguars. I do think their defensive coach gets a lot more out of them than they really should be producing. I do trust Chris Jones a lot, though. So I just want to make sure that's known. Um, I don't think the Rams defense is going to be as bad as it was last year. But it could be because they did lose Jalen Ramsey. But Jalen Ramsey didn't have the best season last year. I will say that. So, but I do expect Aaron Donald to be more healthy. That could be a big, what's it called on it? So, I'm going to just say, and Aaron Donald is, the, is dominant enough like TJ Warren where he can really carry a defense to a good rating. I'm going to put him right here at the back of good. It just It's really depending on Aaron Donald's health. They're either here or here, depending on Aaron Donald's health. But they don't really have much outside of Aaron Donald, I will be honest. Um, the Chargers, the Chargers, now the Chargers is a team that confuses me because I don't understand how they've still not fired their coach. How have they still not fired their coach? I don't get it. I literally don't get it. How have you literally still not fired your coach? I don't understand what's going on with that team. With that being said, though, the Chargers, uh, sec secondary elite. I love their secondary. It just really depends on health. If they can stay healthy, I think that's an elite secondary. I think they have one of the most dangerous pass rushes in the league. When it comes to stopping the run, though, the Chargers have had an issue with that year in, year out. But pass defense, it should be elite. It's elite on paper, but it's just, it would probably, I would probably have to lean more so to a mid. I don't know how they sign a defensive coach, but their defense got worse. It doesn't make sense. Um, their offense should not is not nowhere near as good as it should be either. Their offense and defense got worse, but they, I don't know what what's going on with the Chargers. I don't know how they haven't fired this coach yet. He's so bad, but yeah, I'm have to say the Chargers on paper should be elite. It should be elite. But if I had to honestly say where it's gonna be, I'm gonna have to put it right there. It's gonna be mid. I'm probably gonna have to say it's gonna be mid, like. Durin, right, Duran James going to have a crazy season, but it's still going to be a mid-defense. Um, Khalil Mack wasn't really that crazy last year. Joey Bosa was pretty good, but, like, he wasn't too crazy either. But, it, like, I feel like their whole team really just depend on health, offense and defense. Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins on paper 100% should be an elite defense. They have a great pass rush. I would say it's good pass rush. They have a – I would say it's, it's like – in between elite and good, depending on how you feel about Jalen Ramsey, uh, safe secondary wise, um, linebacker core is, is is probably mid to good. So, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about their defense. Um, I do think they probably have the best defensive coach in the league now. So I think he is going to get the most out of them. So I'm gonna put them in elite. But I do think there are definitely better. There's gonna be better defenses than them. I think. I think the Dolphins could. So I, th I wouldn't be surprised they have the best defense because I do trust Vic Vangio. I do trust their talent. It's just going off last year, they didn't really put pen to paper. You know what I'm saying? They really just didn't put it. was just on paper, but it just wasn't pen to paper. You know what I'm saying? They didn't do it on the field. So I'm interested. They did get better, and they're going to have Bradley Chubb for a full season. They're going to have Jalen Ramsey now. I'm interested, and they got a much the better defensive coach. So it's going to be very interesting. Minnesota Vikings. Probably the worst defense in the league last year. And I don't think it's getting too much better. 
I don't think it's getting too much better. I think they lost one of their main pass rushers. I don't think it's going to get too much better this year. I think it could arguably be the worst defense in the league this year. It's going to be them or the Dolphins, I'm not going to lie. Um, the Giants. The Giants, talent-wise, should not have been as good as it was last year. But it was good. I'm going to put the Giants up there, man. It's a really, They got the job done. I think that coach is really good. I'm going to put them in good. The Jets. Now, the Jets is a tough defense because I feel like they have a good run defense. And I, have a, I feel like they have a good pass rush. But I don't think there's like... I think they have like one one or two elite players in both sides. Like I think Quentin Quentin Williams is an elite run stopper. I think uh Sauce Gardner is an elite corner, but like in totality, like I don't think they have like an elite secondary. I don't think they have an elite pass rush. I think they just have a really good shutdown corner, but everything else is like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I think, so. I think they're gonna have a better complete team this year though. So I'm really interested to see how the Jets it are this year. Um I'm a, I would personally probably put them right there with the Jets in them. But if you think about it, they probably are more so deserving of that elite status than the Dolphins and the Panthers. I'm going to put the Panthers right here. I'm going to put the Panthers right there. I'm going to drop the Rams down here too. Um, The Raiders. The Raiders should have a good defense. They should have a good defense. And I think their defense may have been a little underrated too last year. But yeah, I'm gonna put them in bad, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the I'm gonna, bro like this whole division defense is gonna be pretty bad this year. I'm looking at it. Oh, but Tremaine Evans did come. Pause. So I guess you can put them right here. Um, if they young guys can be better than they were last year, I guess you could say they could be better than um bad. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna put them for now. The Seahawks. Um. I would say the Seahawks defense is either bad or mid. I'm gonna put them in bad. I'm gonna put them in bad. Uh, the Buccaneers defense I think is gonna be pretty good, but I would put them more so with the Saints and the Giants. I'll put them more so like right there. The Eagles are gonna be elite, but I don't think they're gonna be as good as they were last year. To be honest, if I'm being completely honest, I don't think they're gonna be as good as they were last year. Um, so yeah, I think they're gonna be a little bit. I think they're going to be better in the run game, but the pad, I don't know if their secondary is going to be as good because they did lose that safety. But I think they are going to be – I think they could even it out with their run defense. But to win, now you got to be able to pass. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the the uh, commanders should be better than they are, but they just aren't. I would say the commanders is more so good, but at the back end. Um, and for the best defense in the league, you could go with – you can go with the Cowboys, you can go with the 49ers, you can go with the Jets, you can go with the Dolphins. But if I had to predict what I would say, put my money on, to have the best defense in the entire NFL this year, I would say it's either going to be the Cowboys or the Dolphins. I don't think the 49ers have a real case for it this year because they did lose their defensive coordinator. And that year after they lose their defensive coordinator, it always is like a step back, but they're still pretty good. So I'm going to put them back here. I'm going to put them up here, and I'm going to put them right there. Actually, no, I'm going to put them right there. But their coach, I, the Dolphins coach, it's really just really depending on the coach is what I'm really heavily weighting the Dolphins on. But that's going to be my defensive tier list. The Cowboys and best, that's my elite tier. That's my good teams. That's my mid teams. That's my bad teams. If you guys got anything you don't agree with, you something you disagree with, go ahead and put that down in the comments down below. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I will be doing the offenses. This was supposed to be the offenses. Ended up being the defenses. It is what it is. I will come back at y'all with another video. If you guys do want more, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Turn on for this case. Share this video. So anybody think would help without further ado, man. It's your boy Fitz. I'm out to be, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah!